Theoretical Flexibility, Working with Feelings, by Michael Yudkovich. How I work with feelings. Uh, so this has been like a 20 year evolution in my practice. So my counseling practice. And so uh, when I first was trained at, uh, in counseling, I, it was like a strict CBT program. So uh, if, if people know what CBT is, cognitive behavioral therapy. So I'm looking at thoughts and I'm looking at behaviors and how they impact feeling and how they're all kind of impacting each other. That's sort of the, you'd say the triad, you'd have emotions, thoughts, and behaviors. And uh, I'll save you the full, I will save you the full explanation of CBT, uh, just, yeah, for, for all of our well being. Um, but, but that's essentially the premise. And so what I would focus on with clients is, okay, we're gonna look at your, how your behavior and your thoughts are contributing to how you're like, people show up because of how they're feeling, usually. How, or they're mandated to counseling, but, but they, they typically, typically show up because they're like, I don't like the way I feel. I feel you know, sad or I feel angry or anxious, right? All these uncomfortable, unpleasant feelings. And so I would work, okay, well then we need to, uh, we need to have a look at your thinking and we need to have a look at your behavior and how that might be contributing to how you're feeling. And so it can feel a little bit corrective. It can feel like we need to change your thinking and we need to change your behavior so you feel differently. And I found like I would have clients come in with like terminal illnesses. And I'd have clients who came in with grief and loss and trauma. And I found that CBT didn't fully honor their experiences. I found if anything, they pathologized their experiences. It's like, oh, you're still feeling sad about that? We need to look at changing your thoughts and we need to look at, there's a reframe there. We can reframe that thought and look at the positive and you'll be back to normal. And like that doesn't fit for so many of the clients and so many people. And I see your, your face is all kind of affirming that, nodding and smiling laughing, uh, right? So it's taken 20 years. I mean, fortunately, I think at about the midpoint of my career, I, I changed clinics. I moved at country. I moved back to Canada. I was working in the US and, uh, uh, and I, I learned a new approach. So I learned solution focused therapy and that felt a little more flexible than CBT. So solution focused is basically just, we're going to focus on um, what you're doing well. We're going to focus on what you're doing well, and we're going to focus on your strengths. And we're going to try to use your strengths and what you're doing well, and we're going to grow that. We're going to expand on that and try to apply that to other areas of your life where they might be, it might be helpful. Um, so it was, it was a little less pathologizing. Uh, in fact, it was a lot less pathologizing. I won't, I won't spend too much time on solution-focused therapy, but it was this progression from like, oh, okay, I can focus on a client's strengths and what's going well. I don't have to sort of focus on what's not working. So that was a helpful shift for me, but it was not the final shift. Um, so one thing about solution-focused therapy is sometimes when you focus on what's going well, all the time, focus on strengths, are you really honoring how people are feeling all the time. No, if someone comes in and they're sad and they're grieving and they've experienced trauma uh, or yeah, loss uh, or they're, yeah, any, they're terminally ill, we can focus on what's going well, but how does that honor <laughs> how the person's feeling in this moment? So I sort of had to kind of be flexible and sort of adapt my own approach that reconciling these different ideas, but also, evolving my own ideas. And one of my ideas is just that I, my therapy session is essentially now about honoring people's feelings first, looking at those feelings, not as things that we need to change, but looking at them as information. So we've heard that In, feelings are information. What kind of information are they? They are information about our needs. What are we needing? 
So our feelings are expressions of our needs. This is how I work with feelings. So I actually only have three main questions that I ask in a counseling session. So it's, how are you feeling? What do you need? And how can I support you? That's like literally every session of mine. Those questions will get asked at some point. There's lots of little sub questions and curiosities, but those three questions are how I structure my session.